You know I'm all about how to love smarter, not harder. So I want to share with you a theory from psych research that when I came across it and I was single for all those years, it really helped me understand why some relationships weren't working and the fact that I was still looking for something that at times felt like a dream. It felt like something that maybe Disney had sold me or I had just watched too many Hollywood rom-coms and I would drink in the Kool-Aid. But when I came across Robert Sternberg's theory of love, it helped me get that, you know, what I wanted was just the total package. And that's what we all want and what we all should have. Because if we don't have it, what's the point? What's the point but to have an epic, extraordinary love? And that's what I want for you. It's what I have and what I'm so thankful I waited for. So let's dig into it just briefly to talk about the three elements that Sternberg talks about. He says there are three components. The first one is intimacy and that's friendship. And of course we want to be best friends with our life partner, our person. And the second component is commitment because of course we want someone who we can trust and who is trustworthy and has integrity and will commit and remain committed to us. Of course we want that. And the third element is passion. Yeah, we want the sparks. We want the Zaza Zoo. We want to be weak in the knees. We want all of that. And when we have all three of those components together, that's what Sternberg calls consummate love. Or like I said, colloquially speaking, we'd say the total package. And so when I came across this research, I realized that I had every right and every reason to hold out for that consummate love because any configuration other than all three isn't worth it. I mean, if we're talking about friendship and commitment, that's great. And that's what I had with my ex-fiance. It was a lovely friendship. He was brilliant and fun to be with and we were very, very deeply committed and we were great friends, but that was it. So if you have that, it's what Sternberg calls companionate love. So you're like buddies and that's great, but it's not the Zaza Zoo. It's not the fireworks. It's not what, who you marry. It's who you hang out with. Or you could have passion and friendship, but no commitment. And that's what a lot of people have with some booty call or friends with benefits, right? So they've got the sparks and they love to have fun together and they also enjoy the benefits that they've decided that they will have but there's no commitment so then one person sometimes starts catching feelings and wants that commitment but the other person doesn't and then you're in trouble because you've got the two elements the friendship and the romance but you don't have the commitment and of course you could also have you could have the, the romance and the commitment, but you're not really friends. And maybe that would be a relationship where you kind of have this knock down, drag out kind of relationship where it's really hot and you really, you're deciding to be together, but you kind of fight a lot because you don't really like each other, but you've got those sparks. So of course that would be a lot of drama and more than many of us want to deal with. So when we're talking about your person, the one, the person that you're waiting for. You know, a lot of you are out there and you're single and you're getting told all these reasons why you're single. And I'm here to tell you, it's probably just because you have yet to meet that person who embodies all three elements that you desperately want and you desperately deserve. And it is absolutely worth the wait to wait for what Sternberg calls companionate love with the friendship, with the commitment and the passion, all three are worth it. And don't settle for anything less than that. Love smarter, not harder. Wait for Sternberg's companionate love or what we call the total package.